I've spent over 40 years in the technology industry. My most recent position was president of Microsoft Canada, and I've seen the tremendous benefit technology can provide. I've also seen the potential harm if technology is not used correctly. In my opinion, our current implementation of wireless technology is not safe. I am especially concerned with our plans for 5G. I don't make this statement lightly. I've met with experts from institutions such as Harvard, Yale, Columbia, and the University of Toronto. And I've met with an expert advisor to the World Health Organization and one of the lead scientific writers for Al Gore's team that won the Nobel Prize. Over 250 scientists from 40 countries signed a formal appeal to the World Health Organization and the United Nations member states expressing their concern over the harmful effects of wireless technology and added an additional appeal for the effects of 5G, especially the effects on children. Hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific papers have been published demonstrating harm to humans and the environment. This evidence includes increase in cancer, sperm damage, reproductive harms, memory and learning deficits, especially in children, and damage to our DNA, nervous systems, and the cells in our bodies. The combined evidence, in my view, is that there is now sufficient evidence that radio frequency radiation is carcinogenic to humans. That's IR category one, and you can't ignore that. And the implications of this, we have to be cautious. Radio frequency radiation is now ubiquitous. We're probably exposed to it in this room, even though we do not want to be. And we know that although the risk per individual is low, the radiation is widely distributed. I was astounded when I went up one of your peaks to find a cell tower at the top of the tram. My goodness, what are they doing to people? And when we continue doing this, this could result in major public health problems. In the 1930s, they said asbestos was safe. In the 1950s, they said tobacco was safe. In the 1960s, they said DDT was safe. From the 2000s, they say cell phones are safe. Today, they say 5G is safe. Five G is potentially much more dangerous, and it needs to be tested. It will be everywhere. 